now that you're able to connect microphones and instruments to your Scala, we're going to show you how to record them using Ableton Live. In this tutorial, I'm joined by the fantastic Grace George, who's going to be performing a section of one of her tracks for us to record. We're going to record Grace's performance in one take, capturing vocals and electroacoustic guitar. We'll be using the Scarlett Studio CM25 microphone to capture the vocals, and we'll be plugging Grace's electroacoustic guitar directly into the Scarlett to capture that as well. In this tutorial, we're using the Scarlett 2i2, but these steps will work with whatever Scarlett you have because we're just using the first two inputs. And you don't have to use the exact combination of microphones and instruments that we're using in this tutorial. You can use the information in the previous video to connect the microphones or instruments that you want to record. Using an XLR cable, connect the microphone to input one of the Scarlett and then turn on phantom power to ensure that this condenser microphone gets the power required to work. Next, connect the electroacoustic guitar to input two of the Scarlett. Then set this input to instrument mode as we demonstrated in the previous video. For the Scarlett Solo and 2i2, this can be done by pressing the button on the front panel so the inst lights up. And for the 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 and 18i20, open Focusrite control, go to inputs and switch input two from line to inst mode. Now play through your performance and adjust the gain dials to set the recording levels. Ensure that the gain halos are lighting up green, not yellow or red, as we explained in the previous video. If you're using a Scarlett Solo or a 2i2, then ensure that direct monitoring is turned on by pressing the direct monitor button once. If you're using a 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 or 18i20, then this will already be set up by default. Turn up the volume for your headphones until you can hear the microphones and instruments that you have plugged in. If you have speakers connected to your Scarlett, please use the monitor dial to turn down your speakers while recording in order to avoid feedback. On the Scarlett Solo, the monitor dial controls the speakers and the headphones, and we still want to use the headphones, so you'll need to turn off your speakers to record. Now open Ableton Live and let's set up so that we're ready to record. By default, when you open Ableton Live, you'll see two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. You can click on the MIDI tracks and press backspace because we won't be using those in this recording. Next, you need to click just here to come into the arrangement view where we'll be recording. The shortcut for this on both Mac and PC is the tab key on your keyboard. Here, you can see the two audio tracks that we'll be recording onto. Earlier, we showed you how to set up your Scala as the input and output device in Ableton. Please open the preferences by going to Live and Preferences on a Mac, or Option and Preferences on a PC. And then select the Audio tab. On a Mac, ensure that Core Audio is set as the driver type, and then select your Scala as the audio input and output device. On a PC, set the driver type to ASIO or ASIO and select Focusrite USB ASIO as the audio device. If you're using a Scala which has more than two inputs and you'd like to record more than two inputs, then select Input Config and select all of the mono inputs just here, then press OK. Next, go to the Record, Warp, Launch tab. Next to where you see Exclusive, turn off Arm by clicking here so that it turns grey. You can now exit the preferences. Right click on the track header and select Rename. We want to rename track 1 to Vocals and we want to rename track 2 to Guitar. So we've created a track to record the vocals and a track to record the guitar. And now we need to tell those tracks where they'll be receiving audio from. You'll remember that we plugged the microphone for the vocals into input one on the Scarlett. So here on the vocal track, 
we need to select input 1. We plug the guitar into input 2 on the Scala, so on the guitar track, select input 2. Ensure that monitor is set to off for both tracks. Finally, we need to record arm these tracks. That tells Ableton Live that we want to record audio onto these tracks when we hit the record button. Record arm both tracks by clicking on the record arm buttons so that they turn red and you're ready to record. Double click on the stop button to make sure that we're starting the recording at the beginning of the timeline and then hit record. When you're finished recording, press spacebar to stop. Look at what you could have had as I'm walking away. Here comes the realization that you, you made a mistake. And when you see me, if you don't know what to do, just remember, baby, I'm better than you. There we go, you can now record microphones and instruments into Ableton Live using your Scala. I'm now going to show you how to do a basic mix of your recording. To return to the start of the timeline, press stop twice. The spacebar will now act as your play and stop button. To control the volume of each of the elements that you've just recorded, you can use the track volume control just here. Ableton Live gives you quick access to built-in effects to use on your recordings using these send controls. If you want to add reverb to the recording, then you can turn up the send A control just here. And if you want to add delay or echo to your recording, you can do so using this send B control. In the browser, on the left-hand side under audio effects, you'll find an EQ, a compressor, and more effects for you to add to your recordings. The audio effects that you see here will vary depending on the version of Ableton Live that you're using. These effects have pre-saved settings for you to use, which you can see by pressing the down arrow just here next to any of these effects. To apply these effects to your recordings, Simply click and drag the effect onto the recording and you'll then be able to adjust the settings at the bottom here. You can now progress on from this video and we'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new Scala. If you are, that's great, but if you still require some assistance, then we can direct you towards our support team.